Hey, did you hear this guy? He worships you and speaks in agreement Holy with Ghost your word. Of God in the earth Perfect. Today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the Holy earth today. Ghost, your God in the and you walk with him today. by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrop. Thank you for joining us. Tonight I will be speaking about what should be your number one confession. People often ask me about what to confess and what I confess. And as a Holy Ghost worshiper, the answer to that question is somewhat different because our context has changed. We're not talking about confessing sin. We've already done that. And if you haven't already done that, what are you waiting for? We are talking about our confession and confessing our faith in God. In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6, we see it says, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So our confession of faith, for without faith, it's impossible to please him. Our confession of faith, we're confessing that he is and that he is a rewarder of us now he is what he is means that he is he's he's alive he exists he is a living god and he is as a living god living and rewarding us those of us who diligently seek him so he is with us he's alive with us in, are you getting this he's alive with us in the earth and he is rewarding us our confession has to go along with those things if it is to please him and as Holy Ghost worshipers we confess that he is in the earth he is the living God and he is the Holy Ghost for the Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth I'm assuming you know this so who is this living God second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 16 for you are the temple of the living God as God has said I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people who is the God that came to dwell in us particularly on the day of Pentecost his name is the Holy Ghost here it says you are the temple of the Living God so this God that came to dwell in you is called scripturally the Living God it's one of his names and in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost so if you had any doubt who the Living God was or is then you would by this verse and that other verse we just read know that the Holy Ghost is called the Living God so the Holy Ghost is the Living God from these two verses we conclude that and he goes on uh, what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost the other verse said your body is the temple of the Living God who is in you which you have of God and you're not your own talking about your body you are bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's what God is in your body specifically the Holy Ghost who is the Living God is the one that you are a temple of and and here it says you're supposed to glorify God in your body 
you're commanded to glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body what God the Holy Ghost the Living God glorifying God the Holy Ghost with and in your body is a completely different context than what most people were brought up in and live in pleasing him being rewarded by him because if we please him he rewards us completely different context well I'm both glad and sad by your upbringing in faith glad because it gives some context to work with but sad because your context is often what limits you from going on and certainly limits me from the things that I can say to you I'm always wrestling with your context what you think you already know and believe in order to get my message across the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words he the Holy Ghost is also known as the Living God see now I say these things and that is an upheaval of the context of which most people listen to and think in and that has to change so the Living God we know who this is do you know who this is first Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the Living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy we know who the Living God is right he's the Holy Ghost he's the only God in the earth today Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy the Holy Ghost gives me richly all things to enjoy say that the Holy Ghost gives me richly all things to enjoy do you suppose that's important all things if it's the Holy Ghost giving you richly all things to enjoy then all things must come from and through him welcome to your number one confession you worship the Holy Ghost as God and you say the Living God because that's who he is the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy this is a required saying for the Holy Ghost worshiper and if you don't confess this then you're leaving room for something else now I have many confessions but they all fit within the context of this verse and must fit into the context of that verse because it says the Living God gives me richly all things so if I'm confessing any thing or any things they have to be in the context of Living God giving me richly all things are you getting this so Living God giving me richly all things is my number one confession and I don't mean oh it's the number one thing that you it's the number one confession you say before a bunch of other confessions no all the other confessions have to fit it's literally the number one confession we according to Hebrews 11 6 we have to believe he is he who Holy Ghost he is what he is the Living God we believe the Living God is and he rewards me if he rewards me it would be in the context of all things richly given for enjoyment are you here I am a believer that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him I am a them that say I 
am a them that can you see that in the context of the living God giving you richly all things is richly all things and if I don't serve him and worship him and serve him for richly all things then I will be at the mercy of something else are you here second Chronicles 16 verse 9 for the eyes of the Lord are these dead eyes or living eyes <laughs> the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth where is that who is the God in the earth today he's the living God he is the Holy Ghost his eyes are looking or means he looks around he looks around throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is perfect towards him now if your heart is perfect towards him it mean it means it's in complete alignment with him Jesus said out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so a perfect heart one that's in alignment with him will have perfect speech hey did you hear this guy he worships you and speaks in agreement with with your word perfect are you here these are words that you need on your lips living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship you Holy Ghost only living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship you Holy Ghost only he's looking for this he's looking for someone in the earth who worships him and speaks in agreement with his word in fact he's looking for eyes to and fro to show himself say to show himself he will reveal himself to that one to show himself strong on behalf of them is this good news he's looking for you Holy Ghost worshiper confess this I worship you Holy Ghost living God gives me richly all things to enjoy see it matters what you say after you worship him listen to me it matters what you say after you worship him we worship and serve the living God for the abundance of all things Deuteronomy 28 and verse 47 because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart remember serve and worship the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the what abundance of all things so here it's saying it again you have to serve him for with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things richly all things to enjoy because you didn't do that verse 48 therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and nakedness and thirst and it goes on if you serve him with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things that pleases him and you you are rewarded if you don't do it then obviously it displeases him and there's a curse but we serve him we worship him Holy Ghost living God for the abundance of all things and this pleases him so we as Holy Ghost worshipers believe that he is and and he rewards us richly with all things to enjoy well that's the verse of Scripture that should be your number one confession that the living God 
gives me richly all things to enjoy and as you continue to confess that verse says the Spirit Lord I shall bring it to pass in every area of your life and the curse shall not be found and you shall stand and walk above many of the other people who were falling below because you've learned to worship me and serve me the true and living God in the earth today we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you for it in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost you are God. the living God I worship you and serve you for the abundance of all things and you give me richly all things to enjoy I thank you for it in Jesus name the Father Amen. is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth